Before I talked about the addition rule for probabilities, and now I'm going to talk about the multiplication rule. Remember that probability is about determining the likelihood of events. Now, first of all, I want to talk about independence of events. Independence of events, well, two events are independent if they do not affect one another. Like, for example, rolling a 5 and then rolling a 3 with a normal 6-sided die. These events are independent because rolling a 5 does not change the probability of rolling a 3. It's still going to be 1 out of 6. And the same is true the other way around. Like, rolling a 3 will not change the probability of rolling a 5. Now, two events are dependent if they do affect one another. Like, for example, drawing a king and then drawing a queen from a deck of cards without putting the king back. These events are dependent because drawing the king will change the probability of drawing a queen. Without the king in the deck, the probability of drawing a queen changes from 4 to 52, 4 out of 52, to 4 out of 51. Basically, taking one card out of the deck changes the probability of another event because there are now less cards in the deck, which is why these are dependent events, because the presence of one event affects the probability of another. So what is the probability of rolling a 5 and then a 3 with a normal 6-sided die? Well, to answer this question, we have the multiplication rule for independent events, which is the probability of both A and a B both A and B occurring is the probability of A times the probability of B. So the probability of getting a 3 and then a 5 is the probability of 3, which is 1 out of 6, times the probability of getting a 5, which is 1 out of 6. So the probability of getting both a 3 and then a 5 is 1 out of 36. And that is the multiplication rule for independent events. Now, I'm on, I might want to ask you, what is the probability of drawing a king and then drawing a queen from a deck of cards? Now, remember, these are dependent events, so to answer this, we have the general multiplication rule for dependent slash conditional events. Conditional events are basically dependent events, and it's something like this. We have the probability of both A and B occurring is the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has already occurred. That's what that means. So in this case, the probability of getting a king and queen is, first of all, the probability of A is 4 out of 52 because there are four kings in the deck of 52 cards. And then the probability of B having drawn A already is 4 out of 51 because there are four queens in the deck, but now there are only 51 cards left because you've already taken out the king. So you multiply those two things and you get 16 divided by 2,652, which ends up being about 0.6%. There's a 0.6% chance that you will draw a king and then a queen. So that's the multiplication rule for independent and dependent events. So know the difference between independent and dependent events, dependent events and conditional events being basically the same thing. And also understand how to use the multiplication rule for independent events and how to use the multiplication rule for dependent events.